Hey guys, Cilantro here. It is the 24th of September, 2012, and today this is my pre-show for my Let's Play, as I uh, usually play on Monday. Now, uh, normally my Mondays, uh, at least recently, have been devoted to my server, uh, or I should say our community server. Now, there's a good chance I may end up on there at some point today, but for now, I am just going to be playing in my single-player world, and while I am here, I figured I would do a little bit of resource gathering so I could just talk with you guys a little bit. Uh, so my Let's Play, um, if you guys were not aware, the uh, Hourglass project is completely done. I mean, well, more or less completely done. I'm sure there's some other nice little tidbits of stuff I could do to it if I really cared to, but for all practical purposes, the Hourglass is pretty much done. Meaning that the only other current project I really have going on is my village. The big village is and that's a project that I don't really intend on ever really finishing, at least not anytime soon. So what I actually need from you guys is a sense of direction as to where you want the uh, LP series to go. Um, I don't plan on starting fresh uh, really anytime soon. I mean, it probably would have to be... Um, I don't know. I don't know what would actually make me want to restart fresh, but I don't really see myself doing that. Um, there are a few options that I have, though. Uh, one option I have is to uh, load up the snapshots, the 1.4 snapshots. I have a feeling that 1.4 will be coming out somewhat soon. I would say probably within the next uh, month or so. I think they're planning for an October release, and since October is just around the corner, I wouldn't be too surprised to see it uh, very, very soon. Um, I've, I've debated on doing it for a while. I've always said I wouldn't really like to play in the snapshots because I generally prefer to stay with the most current version of Minecraft. That way people who are new to the game and who may uh, purchase the game uh, won't be confused by some things that they see in my show that they uh, don't see in their own game. That's been kind of one of the reasons that I try to, at least on my Let's Play and Hermitcraft days, uh, I, like the, I like the fact that I play completely vanilla, or more or less completely vanilla. Um, just easier for me to explain things to new people. Um, granted, I would imagine most of my audience has been, you know, been around the block as far as Minecraft goes and understands the game, so maybe that's not as quite as important as it may have been, uh, you know, the near year ago that I started my Let's Play series. But, um, you know, it's something to consider. Uh, so aside from snapshots, there are a few other ideas I have for projects, some of which I would like to divulge, some of which I would not. Uh, one of the big projects that I've been wanting to do for a while now is a uh, not, not necessarily a roller coaster, but a, a subway system to connect all of my Let's Play elements. Um, it would probably go from the Hourglass to the Nether Tower. There's already a little bit of a subway there. Uh, it would connect to the village. It would then connect to the ice farm. It would connect to my storage facility, to my wheat farm, to my slime farm, to my tree farm, to the mushroom farm, and then all the way back out to the uh, hourglass. So it would just do basically a, a big loop. Uh, that would be a project that would take some time. Of course, I would probably like to use a lot of TNT for the demolitions involved uh, to save myself a bunch of time and effort in doing manual digging, plus everybody likes explosions. Um, so that's one option. Uh, like I said, other options I have, I mean, some of them I'm probably going to not really mention because I think I would like to kind of roll those out in my own time. Um, I have some ideas for the end. One of the things I would like to actually do is go revisit the nether. I haven't done any serious work in the nether in a very long time. I mean, the poor nether doesn't really have that many practical applications. But with 1.4, uh, as that I understand it, there is a new mob type in the nether. Um, a wither skeleton of sorts. I'm wondering if there is any benefit to farming them over regular skeletons, and if, if it's even possible to have a wither skeleton farm due to the fact that water doesn't really work in the nether, and uh, so on. So that's also one of those things that we'll, we'll have to see. Um, we'll have to see what, how, uh, you know, where that where that comes around, you know, how, how, that, how that plays out once 1.4 goes live. Um, I mean, 1.4 itself is going to have many different projects including you know the pumpkin not the pumpkin farm the uh, potato farm uh, as well as a um, carrot farm potentially ways to farm the 
uh, new wither boss that I've heard about. I'm not sure how it's uh, encountered, if it's something that you can spawn, if it's something you can create on your own. And if it is something you can create on your own, is there any way you can uh, you know, make it easy to kill? I mean, I would certainly like to have a uh, an epic struggle against one of them first before I go and just put it on farm status. But uh, if at all possible, it would be really nice to be able to farm those guys. Um, so I guess we'll see. I mean, a lot of times uh, this is the sort of thing I'm just going to have to sort of pl let play out organically, and we'll see where the future um, where the future takes us. So that's kind of what I'm thinking here for, for now. Um, so I'm going to actually head up to the top of my hourglass and uh, AFK by there a little bit. And I'll talk to you guys uh, for a while while I'm doing so, but uh, I would like to at least get some TNT uh, stored up, and that means I need gunpowder. So I'm going to head up there, and I'll be back in just a second. So here we are at the mob farm. Uh, something I haven't really actually used that much. I mean, I spent all this time building this giant nether tower, or another tower, uh, building this giant hourglass, and uh, I've barely touched this place, and it's uh, something I really need to use more of. I mean, I guess the problem is that I don't really need bones, or arrows, or uh, zombie flesh. It's mostly the gunpowder that I'm interested in, and unless I, uh, unless there's some way to create a really really nice um, creeper only farm which may be worth investigating I mean even if it's not as efficient as like a regular mob system would be if it could somehow create just simply more creepers um, hmm, I'll have to do some thinking on that uh, but unless something like that exists I mean I'm still gonna have to just sit here and sort of deal with this I mean this, this farm works relatively well produces quite a few resources in a very short amount of time so um, ultimately, I'd like to really hear from you guys, whether it's uh, via comments to this video or in the stream tonight, which again is at uh, twitch.tv slash cilantro gamer. Um, what you guys would like to see from the Let's Play. I'm not bored with vanilla Minecraft. It's going to take a long time before I would come close to being bored with the game. Uh, that being said, I, I, I'm, I'm a little confused as to what direction I want to take the let's play right now yeah. and uh, so I'd like to hear you guys uh, you know hear your guys feedback see what uh, see what sounds good to you guys um, so we'll see what happens to that anywho I'm just gonna sit here at AFK by this uh, for a while to get some materials prepped for tonight uh, as always thanks for watching hope to see you guys at the live stream tonight and if not uh, have a great day